welcome back to my channel it's EJ so um, today we're just gonna discuss the differences between the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine I just noticed that I have more viewers um, that actually saw my vlog about the reaction that I got or you know the side effects of the second dose of the Moderna vaccine so this time we're just gonna say something about the differences between the Pfizer and Moderna <laughs> First is that Pfizer, um, with the age, you have to be 16 years old and above, while Moderna, they start at 18 years old. Also, Pfizer effectiveness is at 95%, while Moderna is at 94.5% effective, effectiveness. So there's very, I would say, very slim difference between the effectiveness of both uh, vaccines also <clears throat> Pfizer it, uh, second dose should be given after 20, 21 days while Moderna should be given after 28 days and then um, for Pfizer it has to be diluted with a 0.9% sodium chloride which is you know those saline flushes while <clears throat> Moderna, you don't need to dilute it. There's no dilution required on that one. And Pfizer is actually stored at 112 to negative, actually. Negative 112 to negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. While Moderna is stored at negative 13 to negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. So can you imagine those both um, vaccines were stored frozen so that's how cold uh, it is for them I mean for the fridge or freezer to be so that you can store them okay and what else so they published safety and final efficacy results from phase 3 on December 10 2020 for the Pfizer while Moderna they announced it the primary efficacy analysis on phase 3 on November 30, 2020. So uh, Moderna actually, they announced the efficacy analysis actually earlier than Pfizer. So, and both of them are mRNA vaccines. So when you say mRNA vaccines, it provides instructions for our cells to make a harmless piece of what is called the spike protein. The spike protein is found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. So COVID-19 and uh, COVID-19 mRNA vaccines are given in the upper arm muscle, deltoid, right here. Once the instructions mRNA inside the muscle cells, the cells follow the instructions and make the protein piece. After the protein piece is made, the cell breaks down the instructions and gets rid of them. And then next, the cells to play the protein piece on its surface, showing off its work. Our immune system rec recognizes that protein doesn't belong there and begins making antibodies. So that's how it works. Okay, so I guess that'll be it. And I hope you learned something new about both vaccines, their differences and everything. I'll see you guys later. See you on the next one.